Dave Clawson is one of the best coaches in college football. However, he can't uh, overcome injuries, lack of depth, lack of talent, all those other things. Uh, he's got the type of program that he has built where got to cycle up the roster, hope for the best, eke out some close games. It didn't work in 2023, and Clawson took accountability and said, I'm a 4-8 and eight football coach. Clawson, we know better. Welcome to the Voice of College Football, breaking down the game we all love, looking at the ACC schedules just released here in the last few days. Wake Forest, you're up. North Carolina A&T better be a win against the Aggies on August 29th. Then we get into September, right into the ACC with Virginia at 3-9. and nine. Then look at this third game. Wake scheduled Ole Miss. They're coming to Winston-Salem. The Rebels coming off 11-2 and look to be a top 5-10 to 10 team in college football this season with all those transfer portal additions. Then the bye week before, the Ragin' Cajuns come to town at 6-7 and seven this past season. And then the toughest back-to-back -back stretch right there with North Carolina State on the road, Clemson at home. Both teams finished at 9-4 and four this past season. Then Wake goes to UConn to take on Jim Morris' team. Then goes to Stanford in its first look at any of the newcomers to the ACC, Stanford and Wake got together in 2009 and 10 and split that home-and-home home series. Another bye week before the stretch drive starts on a Friday against Cal as the Golden Bears come cross-country. First meeting between the schools, the Golden Bears finished at 6-7 and seven with a bowl loss this past season. And then at North Carolina, at Miami, and Duke. Pretty difficult stretch for a Wake Forest team coming off four wins as they take on the Heels, the Canes, and Duke with new starting quarterback Malik Murphy and new head coach, of course, Manny Diaz. It's important for a program like Wake, especially coming off a down 2023, to catch a scheduling break. No Florida State, no Louisville. Good news there. The rest of the games that uh, Wake Forest does not play, well, they're games that they have won in the past and are pretty much toss-up games most seasons when Wake is a 7 or 8 win football team. Virginia Tech, Syracuse, Boston College, Georgia Tech, Pitt, and the only newcomer to the league that they do not play would be SMU. The schedule is so important for a program like Wake, especially coming off a down four-win season. All right, the scheduling breaks include missing Florida State and Louisville. Those are the obvious ones. The other programs on the schedule, when Wake is a good program, a good team, when they're rolling with seven, eight, nine wins per season, they can handle the likes of Virginia Tech, Syracuse, BC, Georgia Tech, Pitt, and SMU. Those are toss-up games at best for Wake coming into 2024, you would think. This program has achieved much more, especially, again, getting to a conference championship game a couple years ago. But after 4-8, and eight, just get back to a bowl game, Dave Clawson. We don't want to call you a 4 it Eight coach anymore. All right, binge watch these ACC schedule releases right here at the Voice of College Football. Leave those comments and questions below, and we will see you next time.